Hey everybody, welcome to a quick tutorial on high definition, high quality recording using a VST plugin. Uh, one of my pet peeves with Virtual DJ is that it runs at a very high sampling rate internally. It runs at whatever your sound card supports, but uses 32-bit floats. However, when you record WAV or FLAC format in Virtual DJ, it only outputs 44 kilohertz 16-bit files. This is kind of a drag because if you want to do mastering, you want to have your quality set higher than what your final product will be. So how do we fix this? Well, solution I found was using this plugin right here, and I'm going to show you. This is Voxengo Recorder. It's a great plugin by this company, and they make a few free plugins and others that they charge for. This one is one of the free ones and is very useful. So uh, download the plugin and um, extract the DLL file to my documents, virtual DJ, plugins, sound effect, and I have it right here, Voxengo Recorder, dot DLL. So, and then we hop over to virtual DJ or whatever other program you're using. And in virtual DJ, we go to the master effect over here and select Voxengo Recorder. Activate it, very important, or it won't capture any sound. Come to Voxengo Recorder's configuration. We'll take this out of the way. Now, uh, this thing has two purposes. One is to give you an extra sound output, which can be very handy. And the other, which is what we're going to use it for here, is to output a file with whatever it's being fed. So we're going to do file mode at 32-bit floating point samples. So this is the highest quality that Virtual DJ can record. We'll set a file here. I'm going to overwrite this right here that I've used for a couple of takes here. Overwrite it. Now, just to be sure, I want to show you. In Virtual DJ, we are using 48 kilohertz sound, and Virtual DJ, as I said, uses 32-bit floats internally. So hit start here, and we start our track. We got a nice little YouTube no attribution track here. Let it play for a couple of seconds, and then we'll check the recording to see if it actually recorded what we think it's recording. Okay, so we'll let this play a little bit. All right, that's more than enough of that, I'm sure. Everybody's sick of these tracks. So now we pop down to... I have VLC Media here loaded uh, just to just to check this track to see if it is actually what it says it is. All right, so we'll pause it, go to the codec information, and you can see this track is indeed saved with 32-bit floats at 44, or excuse me, 48 kilohertz. So that's it. That's as uh, simple as it gets. We have uh, enabled better recording than what actually comes with the program, and I'm sure there are other programs where this will be useful you know, uh, let me know if you find any other uses for this. Okay. Okay, everybody. Uh, thank you for listening. And I, I hope this was useful to you as usual. And I look forward to seeing you all again. I have more content on the way. Have a nice day, guys.